Thank you for joining me for this feast devotional exercise. Today's devotion is based on 2 Chronicles chapter 20. And it is about the story of King Jehoshaphat. Now, Jehoshaphat was a king of Judah, and he was actually one of the good kings. He served the Lord, and he tried his best to do what God asked him to do. He had a few moments where he failed, but for the most part, he was a good king, you know. But there was a point in his journey where uh, the, the nations of Ammon, Moab, and Monster, they basically amassed this great army and they started moving towards Judah and when he heard that these armies were moving towards him he was afraid because I mean Judah was just one little country and all these people are moving or you know are mobilizing against him but Jehoshaphat did not just let his fear be the end of his story no he started making a decision to seek God so he basically proclaimed a fast throughout all of the land and he told the people that look we're gonna have a fast and y'all need to assemble at, at Jerusalem. We're going to be seeking God's um, help with this matter. So he goes to the assembly and all the people have gathered. And he starts praying. And I imagine he's praying aloud. And he starts laying out this whole thing before God. And he's saying, God, you know, you are awesome. You are our God. You know, who have we in heaven but you? You are our God. And he starts telling, you know, reminding God and I think himself and the people of all that God had done for Israel in the past. And then he reminds them of the promise that had been made when the temple had been built. When Solomon basically said that this is a temple where God has set his faith, where God is going to put his presence. And that if anybody is in trouble, all they have to do is come to that place or turn their face in that direction and that they would pray and ask God for help and the Lord would hear and answer. And Jehoshaphat is reminding God and, I, and as I said, the, the people of this promise that he's now trying to claim. But the last part of his prayer is what really moves me. He says, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you. Our eyes are on you, God, because we know that there's nothing that I can do. There's, even if I had the army, you know, to mobilize against this great force, without your help, I am nothing. I can do nothing. And in response to, you know, the heart of Jehoshaphat's prayer, the Lord, um, he responded and he said, look, I'm going to give you the victory. You don't need to do anything. All you need to do is just stand still and watch God work. And eventually what happened was when they, when, they, when the people of Judah showed up for the battle, there was nothing for them to do because the three armies actually decimated each other. Everybody was dead, but nobody from Judah had actually fired a single shot. All they had done was put their request to God and they had praised him in response. And this is something that we need to remember. When we have a problem or an issue or a situation, we need to remember that our God is greater than any problems that we can face. We need to turn our eyes away from our problems and turn them onto God instead. My friend, whatever troubles you go through this week, I want to remind you to turn your eyes on God. Let it be that your response is, you know what, God, I don't know what to do, but my eyes are on you. Let us pray. Father God, we are so thankful that you are our God. You are in heaven and you are there to help us. We are so grateful for your presence on this earth, that you send your angels, that you send your Holy Spirit, that you send your forces, the heavenly forces, to help us. God, we are not worthy of your help, but you help us anyways. God, whatever situation we're facing in the next coming in the few coming you know the coming week or the coming days i pray that we'll remember to turn our eyes away from our situation away from our problems and turn our eyes on you thank you for hearing this prayer for i ask it in your precious name amen so that's it for today's devotion you may find this devotion and others on the blog hebrews12endurance.com where you'll also find other resources such as bible studies and other christian living tips until next time, this is Ami and I'm encouraging you to know God, know yourself, run your race.